Nadell Hussein has been one of the stars of Team Fennec for quite a long time. Last Friday night, all those years of hard work paid off when he fought Filipino Jamie Barcelona for the WBU version of the Super Bantamweight crown. Despite a very supportive hometown crowd, Skinny was made to fight all the way by a very game and tough opponent. Hussein up against the ropes. As the crowd starts chanting for their man, Skinny Hussein. Hussein in the all black. Barcelona with the black trunks and yellow striping down the side. And Skinny just seems to be taking a lot of these punches on the gloves, arms on gloves. He's he was sneaking time. in. Yeah, he wants to get off those ropes. Anything silly could happen. And then he doesn't want to get caught with a shot that maybe could cut him. Delassane. Oh, beautiful yeah. right hand from the Delassane. Big right hand. Nice Barcel and sharp. Barcelona straight back onto the right. Let, onto let the me front tell foot. you something, Andy. This guy took a great shot. He wasn't hurt. He came straight back. Fight nice. straight back. That was beautiful work. <laughs> the legs didn't bungle too much, and he was straight back on the front foot, straight back on the offensive. Let me tell you, Great. this kid is tough, go. and he's here to win. Referee this morning, a running warning for the oh, Nice side. right hand. Without using the head. Closing stages of round number three here. And again, a very interesting round. Barcelona, he's, a, he's risen for the occasion. You know, it's a world title fight. This is what, it, this is what we all fighters fight for. Yeah, that's for sure. You can't yeah. go no high. There's the body shot. That's the first one that's landed all night properly. I was on the money. It has proved such an effective weapon for him in his past fights. Nadell the same, the body shot. Yeah, it's only got to have been a matter of time before he starts landing those shots. Oh, that's a big right hand. That was on the main. A beautiful right hand. Once again, Barcelona did not move. He didn't. He did not buckle. Stood straight in front of him and nodded his head. Said, "Come on, break me some more." It started out technically brilliant. It started out as a pure boxing match. It is very quickly developing into a pub brawl. These two guys, there is a bit of feeling. It just dropped out to the streets, back streets of Bankstown. And that is where Nadella Sain will come into his own, opening up. Yeah, once, uh, once Skinny right. starts opening up with his shots, once again on the road, grimacing. There's got to be some, you know, some serious problem with, uh, with Nadal. Well, they've done no favours for Nadal bringing this guy out to fight, you know, for a vacant title. Well, well, that's, that's for very, sure. Very, very well, tough. Hold him. You know, he's... Hold him. Referee again. Instruct oh, himself. there's the body shot again. Beautiful body shot from Hussain. And again, Barcelona in somewhat of a role reversal is the man standing in the centre of the ring and to a large degree, welcoming the challenge, and welcoming the onslaught of Hussein. I'm thinking maybe, uh, you know, back in the third round when Skinny Hussein landed that beautiful right uppercut, maybe he's done some damage to that right hand. They know the opponent is there for the taking, they know their opponent is weary, and oh, a beautiful, beautiful. Two punch combination from Skinny Hussain, Best who's punch finishing the, the round well. 30 seconds remain. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous points decision. Des Bloyd awards 115 to 112. Don Marks, 117 to 110. And Eddie Marshall, 118 to 109, all the way to the new WBU World Super Bantamweight Champion from the blue corner, Nadal Skinny Hussain. And Skinny Hussain there becoming a world champion there, the WBU version of the Super Bantamweight crown. And uh, Nader, you know Skinny pretty well. Would he have been happy with his performance? No, you could, you could see after the fight he was, he was um, not, not happy at all with his performance. But like styles make fights. Um, the guy came in holding and just not giving Skinny his room. Skinny had an injury during the fight, one of his shoulders, his left or right shoulder, was giving him really a hard time and, and the opponent was, was awkward. 
And just like I said, the, the styles make the fights. Yeah, the opponent was very awkward. At times he looked like he wanted to fight, but a lot of the time he was holding and, and trying to spoil Skinny, wasn't he? And, and it looked like it was frustrating him. Well, when the guy's right in your, fa right in your chest, um, tangling your arms, doesn't give you your room to throw your punches, and Skinny needs his room for his body punches, um, and he wasn't giving them at all. Now, the WBU version is one of the lesser-known ones. The IBF, the WBC and the WBA are, are, of course, the top three. But it is a great stepping stone for him, oh, isn't it's it? A, it's a huge stepping stone, and, and, not, and in time, you see the WBU will, will rise and become one of the main, because um, they've had some, some real credible world champions in that, in that uh, WBU. Now, of course, earlier in the year, he, uh, he fought Manny Pacquiao, who, of course, recently won the IBF version, which is one of the more legitimate versions of the world title. Uh, so that perhaps gives Skinny a good perspective of where he stands in that division. Well, gives Skinny and gives people a good perspective of where Skinny stands in that division. Yeah, definitely. 